Uh, we're working on the 06 uh, Nissan Altima, and of course uh, we have a visitor. Hello, kitty. We're going to tighten down the head bolts here. That's Jupiter. Say hi, Jupiter. Anyway, uh, this is the sequence that we have here. New head bolts, new Nissan head gasket. Tighten them down to 37 foot-pounds. Then add 60 degrees. Loosen to zero. Torque it down again to 26 to 32. And then add 75 to 80, target 75 degrees. And then do that 75 to 80 degrees again. There's six steps, okay? Write it down on a piece of paper, check them off as you go. There's 10 bolts. You'll need one of these guys here, torque angle meter, okay? Set that little guy on zero, wherever zero is at, zero's over here at the top, if I can find it. There it is. Set that little guy on zero. Go over all the head bolts in sequence. Get you a big old long torque wrench and a cheater bar. Take your time. Just a few other notes here. On this particular time that I've done this head job on here, I didn't take the exhaust manifold off or the intake manifold off. I just unbolted them and moved them back a little bit. Uh, this is what the timing chain looks like. You just let it rest. I've got it all glued up. On this side, there's a O-ring in there, okay? And then a little further down, there's a bolt that goes right here, and that has silicone around it. Just don't forget to silicone that, and you silicone up to this bolt before you put that head on. You put silicone up to there, okay? Otherwise, you're going to have to take it back off and put silicone in there again to get it right. All right, well, I'm going to try to record this plus 60 move on here. It's not that big of a deal. You just set the torque angle meter so that it stays still, and then you pull it until it gets to 60, like that. And what we're doing is, is we're pre-setting those head bolts. And we're going to loosen them up. After I get done with that, we'll loosen them all up to zero. And on the end, where this is stand up a little higher, I couldn't get it in there. The torque angle meter wouldn't fit properly. So I add an extension to it. And I'm not using a special fancy socket. I'm just using the 15 millimeter impact socket. Okay, we're going slow and easy. It's not going to blow out the head on that thing. This is the second time I've done it, done it. But it's got those funny poly style five point heads on them bolts. So that 15 millimeter impact worked just fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, and we've got them all loosened up. Each one of those guys, I don't know if you can tell. Each one of them is loosened up, and I've got my. 32 foot pounds. Okay, that's the step that I'm on right now. Step four. It's not that hard. It's not that big of a deal. You just have to take your time. Torque them down in sequence properly. 32 foot pounds. Okay, so where we're at now is, is we're going to the 75 to 80, which our target 75. I'm gonna put it on 75. Got the torque angle meter set up. Got it stop, dead stop on here, set it on zero. And I'm gonna run it around to 75, about right there somewhere. It's easier to see as the, move, the wrench moves, but that's all there is to it, this is simple. Okay, well that's where we're at at 75, and I'd like to mention one thing. Uh, when you start, it's easy to get that pull going, but near the end, it's very hard. So uh, get you, a nice long pry bar like that and start with the pry bar on there so you can make one clean pull to that 75 you don't want to mess around and bump it and jiggle things because you're trying to get it to the right spot and if you go moving this thing all around and getting it all funny it's not going to give you the clear reading that you want uh, this is not fancy high-tech digital or nothing uh, this is just a cheesy little cheap uh, dial it's all mechanical we're getting it close. It's 
obviously uh, we're never going to get it perfect even the manufacturer has given us a wide range to go with okay so we just want to get it as close as we can one pull use a torque extension torque wrench there uh, cheater bar type setup 